what kind of offers are you talking about? The kind where you take the loan off the bank's hands in order to help out an old friend during a difficult time. Maybe Lindy was right about her. How could you say that? Why not? Lindy said she was a liar and a slut. Now tell me, was she wrong? Jody, how could you say that? You know Kayla. No, I don't. I don't know anything about her. Stefan's gone because I wouldn't listen to what he was trying to tell me. <laughs> I didn't want to believe him. And now he's dead. <laughs> if I were so close. I was with Nora when she died. I held her in my arms. Erickson's her family. Yeah. Stefan felt the same way. <laughs> hey, I should be the one to console you, not the other way around. It's okay to show feelings. It doesn't make you weak if that's what you think. You know, that sounds a bit odd coming from you. <laughs> Quite a pair, aren't we? Yeah. I think sometimes we uh, try so hard to hide how we feel that we we finally let go. It's almost just embarrassing. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Actually, you know, the other day when you said it was okay to be vulnerable, it was the first time in a long time I felt like I could just be me. And I'll be afraid that. What? That you'd walk away. That I could trust you. I used to be like that when I was growing up with Stefan. I won't walk away, Charlotte. Neither will I. Got a sec? Not really. Do you really hate me that much? <laughs> Kayla, I don't hate you. I just don't have any idea what to say to you. It's not like I'm some kind of different person. Yeah, you are. So that's it? I, I, everything that we've talked about, everything we've done, it means nothing? Don't turn this around, Kayla. You did this, not me. I told you stuff that was hard for me to admit. And now, 
You're just a girl who I used to call a friend. And that's it? What, are you just gonna ignore me until graduation? And then, and then tell stories about this crazy girl you knew in high school who, who got off on sleeping with men for money? Yeah, 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 sure. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Can't you understand that I didn't have any other choice? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. But I guess the truth was just another option for you. Hmm? Wasn't it? And now, you got Jody thinking. Thinking what? Thinking that Lindy was right all along. She really said that? worried about the toxicology report, aren't you, Gabby? Well, why hasn't the lab called yet? Those forensic tests are really complicated. Can I ask you a personal question? What? Do you think Anne was really gonna leave Martin? Yeah, I do. But... Why? Well, this may sound weird, but I think somebody else was involved. Another man? Do you think maybe Stefan Erickson? Wow, Tony. And some of these are outstanding. Those are the wrong sketches. Those are Gabby's. I'm letting her work on the originals or something down the road. Hey. Hey. You want to grab some lunch? Oh, damn, Gabby and I are supposed to go to the sun. I'm sorry, rain check? Okay, sure. Except uh, Gabby left ages ago. Uh-oh, I think I may just be in a lot of trouble. Catch you guys later. I'm sorry to hear about your father, Chrissy, but I can see that Lucas has been helping you too, just as he's been helping poor Gabriella. Yeah. Lucas has been great. Tony, do you think you can give Charlotte a message for me? You can tell me yourself. I don't want to go back to Stockholm with you. It's only for a few days. To bury Stefan's ashes. I never want to go back to Stockholm again, okay? And I'll never forgive you for not telling me that my father was alive all these months. We're over. Just deal with it. She's just a child, Kara. She'll get over it. Give it time. Hmm? Whoa! Oh. Where's the fire? I need to get some air, that's it. Okay. Somebody's ruffled. So listen, I got an idea. Why don't we do a family dinner sometime next week after everything settles down? Just you and me. No, I thought we'd have Alex and Charlotta too. <gasps> Forget about her, Will, okay? She's way too busy getting it back on Tony, so. How can you believe any rumors that come from Catherine Devon? I was just asking a question. It's crazy. I mean, Stefan was in Stockholm. How could he and my mother have had an affair? You spent a lot of time in Miami, and besides, you said they were really close. Yeah, friends. But to be honest, I don't know. Like I said, my mother and I weren't that tight. And Catherine, she can be vindictive. True. But if you don't think it was Stefan Erickson, who do you suspect? Newsroom Crystal Tate. Freddie, hey! Hey, 
Oh, oh well, give me a hint. Okay. Can you spell it? All right. Great. Hey, next time, donuts and coffees on me. You bet. Well, that was my guy from the police lab. The tox report. It's positive. Well, I'd very much like to meet with you, Mr. Price. Well, in short, my bank has devoted a division of its assets into acquiring high-risk loans at a reasonable rate. And in return, we'll offer your bank an opportunity to exit loans that you may no longer be comfortable with while giving you a little over 90% of what was originally borrowed. <laughs> I thought you would be interested in my proposal, Mr. Price. Well, now that you mention it, I do have a loan portfolio particularly in mind. I would like to start by taking a look at Devin International. Do you really think that Lindy was right about me? As if that's not bad enough, now you're just gonna ignore me? I never turned my back on you. No. You've been lying to me ever since I met you. You know that's not true. Great. So the only thing I know about Kayla McDermott is that she wants to go to Paris and she likes extra cheese on her pizza. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. I could really write a book about you. How could I have told you, Joey? I mean, do you really think you would have understood? Yeah, I'm sure you would have loved bringing your new friend Kayla home to meet your mom. Hey mom, this is Kayla. Oh, and just so you know, she's a clicker. That's what you think? Fine, I don't care anymore. So this is it. We're strangers. Kind of feel like we always were. Great. First Dylan, and now you. Don't lay your guilt on me and act like it's my fault. I never said it was. I just thought that when you finally found out, you might understand. Well, you were wrong. And I freaked out like this when you told me about the pills? But I told you. You would have never have told me if I didn't find that book. So you play Sherlock Holmes and totally invade my privacy and I'm the bitch? If you think it's that simple, you are much worse than that. I see you're ready to leave. I'll drive you to the airport. Thanks, Tony. I already called a cab. I know. I canceled it. I don't want you to be alone. Well, that was very thoughtful of you. <laughs> I know how much Chrissy upset you. So don't worry, I'll have a talk with her. I doubt that will make any difference. But thank you. I really mean that. You've been so understanding, Tony. Break of dawn. I want to believe you'd see. 
After looking over these papers, Mr. Price, I can only imagine how happy your bank will be to finally settle Mr. Devin's rather <laughs> extensive loan. Yes, well, in view of the recent turn of events, Devin's stock's decline has had us a bit uh, concerned. Not that we want to appear unsympathetic, you understand. No, 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 of course not. I mean, after all, business is business, and that's the reason we both entered into this business. But I'm quite certain that there's something I can do to help my friend Martin David out of this difficult situation. That makes the bank feel much better about this transaction. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I'll be in touch with you very soon. Alicia. For me, it's personal. Well, this time, this time, I will personally see to it that Martin Devin goes straight to hell. <laughs> Where he can join you, me and me. Hey, sorry I'm late. Why didn't you wait for me? Well, you seemed a little occupied with Chrissy, so I... Sorry. Actually, I was looking over your sketches with Antonio. And? Yeah, they're all right. <laughs> they were outstanding. Thanks. So what's up? Crystal received a phone call from the lab, and the toxicology report on my mother was positive. They found a drug called Namiosol in her bloodstream. And the side effects are dizziness and nausea. I think somebody might have slipped in a drink at the party. Who could have done that? I saved this for you for my special reserve. How uncharacteristically thoughtful of you, Macy. Thank you. Champagne, let's see, what shall we toast? Oh, how about your eminent departure from the Devon family? In your dreams. don't know this, do they? No. And we have to make sure they never find out. You know, since I've been commissioner, crime has dropped almost 40% in this city. This is not a good time for some nut job with a fixation on call girls to be running around like he's Jack the Ripper. And if we don't make an arrest soon, there won't be any campaign to worry about. Pop, there's a lot more at stake here than the mayor's office.
please. Just leave me alone. Alex, it's gonna be okay. I mean, I... No, please. Just go. Crystal found out there was Namusol in Anne's system. So what? Anne took Namusol. I take Namusol for high blood pressure. Yeah, but guess who else took it? Patterson. It's a common drug. It doesn't spell conspiracy. Why are you closing your mind to this? I think that someone is setting up Martin Devon for a fall. Somebody who wants him to go down the hard way. Well, do you have anyone in mind? Maybe. So are we gonna compare notes or are you just gonna let a killer walk? <laughs>